Nicholas Lindhurst hits back at retirement claims following son Archie's tragic death. Nicholas Lindhurst has denied that he is retiring following the tragic death of his son Archie. The much-loved Only Fools and Horses star sadly lost his 19-year-old son to a brain hemorrhage in September 2020. Despite taking a break from television since then, Nicholas has no plans to quit acting completely. Is Nicholas Lindhurst retiring? According to Nicholas's representative, the reports about his retirement are ridiculous. They told Metro. It is complete nonsense that Nicholas Lindhurst is retired or retiring. Of course he and his wife are devastated by the sudden loss of their young son but Mr. Lindhurst will continue his career with any parts and scripts that attract him. The representative added that Nicholas continues to constantly receive offers. It comes after longtime friend and writer Lawrence Marks claimed that the actor could quit. He told the Daily Star Sunday, he has always kept himself to himself and now he'll do that more than ever. Now he's lost his son, he'll never come out again. I doubt we will see him do any more acting. Lawrence added, I would like to say we will see him act again, but I don't think we will. Nicholas and his wife Lisa tragically lost their son in September 2020. What happened to Nicholas's son Archie? Archie died in his sleep after a brain hemorrhage. He was just 19 at the time of his death. The teen starred in So Awkward and also appeared as a young Jack Whitehall in BBC's Bad Education. In October last year, Lisa paid a touching tribute to Archie as they marked the first anniversary of his death. She wrote at the time, It's so hard to believe that it's already been a week since we passed a year without you. Thank you to everyone who came to show their love for our magical boy. Your friendship and kindness is beyond amazing and incredibly appreciated. To have to live without you is the biggest test of endurance we will ever face. We miss you every second of every day. Life threw us the cruelest card. 